Most of them, they're great, great, great couple, okay? They're just, they're just a good couple, okay? I will up with Joe and Mary! Yeah. All right, Mary! All right, Joe! Good morning. How is everybody doing? Awesome. I'm going to tell you this with all sincerity. I was doing fine until Gary started getting emotional. Yeah. <laughs> and I've been known to cry, believe it or not. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, we want to thank Richie for this opportunity to actually come up and speak. Uh, we're supposed to speak on securities. And when we say this to you, we want to keep it as simple as possible. This woman here believed in me before I believed in myself. Okay? And having somebody behind you is huge. So let me explain how we almost hit $2 million this year. Uh, number one, uh, we had a goal. And I have to thank my team because there was a lot of rollovers that happened. And without them, we would never have reached that and got up and got that award last night. So thank you, team. Okay. We're very really blessed and we don't take that lightly coming from where I come from. Uh, the first thing was to set a goal to beat our 2017 goal. Okay, and John Costigan is in the room and he has a person on his team called Joni Asades. And my goal was to beat her in securities in 2018. <laughs> she doesn't know that, but she motivated me to do that. Okay, you must be competitive in this business. She beat us by about $59,000 last year. So think about that. The first thing in my mind was to set a goal to come up here the following year and do that. Very important. Uh, Mary taught me. A long time ago in the business, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> I have a law enforcement background, so when I'm sitting in a room of like 250 people right now, I was used to swinging gates, 118 inmates over here, 118 inmates over here, and they didn't listen. My job was to keep them medicated and separated. <laughs> Hopefully I can bring something better to you. Uh, when Mary said keep it simple, stupid, Mary, can I just like guide myself right off the stage? Uh, Mary likes to say in the home when we're doing the presentation, do you really know the difference between a mutual fund and a stock? So I ask yourself if you knew, do you know the difference? Just role play with me like I'm talking to you. The difference between a mutual fund and a stock is if you own Coca-Cola versus a mutual fund, like Gary said, you own 100 companies, the chances of those 100 companies going down on the same day, about slim to none. Right. Is that fair to say? Yep. But if you own Coca-Cola or Facebook and you think it's doing very well and it goes down on the same day, where's all your money? Down. Yeah. That's why you invest in mutual funds. Don't mind me, I like to float around. Uh, I'm feeling comfortable. This isn't easy for me. You're doing great. Okay? Woo! Everybody know the rule of 72? Have you seen it? <laughs> when I sat where you are right now and saw that in the presentation, somebody drew the curtain on my life. I said I can look across the kitchen table and say to you, uh, do you know where to get that 6 to 12% on your money? And most people say no. So when my wife is doing the presentation, because we go together, we're partners. While she's doing the presentation and gets to that point and asks if you know where to get the 6 to 12, they say no. Well, do you have any old 401ks? Or do you invest in a 401k right now? And they say, yes. And my wife looks right at the person that says that. Could you please go get that? Because my husband's just sitting here doing nothing. And he would be glad to look at that for you. <laughs> I'm giving you these tips because if you use them in the home, you'll have the success that we have. Is right. that fair enough? Yeah. Uh, woofa. Anybody know what woofa means? Wait for our answer. When Mary asks you where you get that 6 to 12, you are to zip your mouth and wait for a answer. answer. Don't overtalk yourself, okay? The fourth point was pay yourself first. I learned, and my wife will tell you, that she was able to retire me at the age of 46 years old. You know why? Ever since I joined this business and started making money, I set up a map deduction. That means a little bit of money every month when I make money, it's invested, because I would be a fool not to take advantage of the same concept of the rule of 72. In saying that, pay yourself first. I'm saying this to the people in the room. Be the first bill. You ever open your paycheck? Who gets the money first, Uncle Sam or you? So after Uncle Sam gets his money, you're really second in line, right? <laughs> All you young people in the room, 25 and under, do you think you can swing $25 a month? Yeah. 
Would you invest it with me? If I explain how the system worked? Everybody can afford $25. I'll get yes. you started at $25. Maybe eventually we'll get you up to $100. Right. Doing pretty good on time, right? Very good. Huh? <laughs> when I said I need to engage you in the crowds as if I'm talking to you out on the street or just meeting you for the first time, you'll be glad you did this down the road that you saved a little bit of money. Yeah. Okay? I, I know Glenn Boldeck is gone, but I'm going to tell you a few things that he taught me. It's all about catching things that Richie says, all the RVPs in the room say, and formulate that and be yourself. Grab the good from them, leave the bad. Does that make sense? The little bullet points. Well, Glenn Boldick taught me, people can relate to telling stories, so tell stories, Joel. Am I really like just telling you a story right now, how we had success this year? Yep. Okay. Well, he taught me the retirement school story. Everybody's gone to a restaurant and sat on a stool. I don't call it a bar stool, I call it a stool. Do you ever sit on one that's kind of wobbly? Yeah. yeah. Maybe one leg's a little loose? I'm going to describe your retirement as a stool with three legs. The first leg is Social Security. The second one's going to be your pension. I already received a pension. Did I tell you I retired four years ago? That's the one in the middle. But the most important leg is the one, the money that I've been saving in Primerica that's over to the right. And that should be your largest fall. Because at any time, the state of Massachusetts could say, the pension system's gone. Mm -hmm. So if I haven't been doing what I was supposed to be doing and teaching, I'm going to be on a wobbly stool, and she's not going to like that. <laughs> okay? <laughs> My point is, that stool is much more sturdy with three legs on it than just one, right? Yeah. Good. Well, that's it. I'm almost done. For the people who have their securities license right now, Gary hit on it, or the new people studying to get it, this license is a very huge part of your Primerica business, okay? Don't deny yourself first, but please don't deny your clients the opportunity to put money away in a mutual fund or in an annuity. Glenn Boulder, John Sheehan, these guys have the best brochures. If you don't know what a mutual fund is, geez, Leg Mason put this one out. It says, what is a mutual fund? <laughs> For a jail guard, I needed this. Because if I can sit in a home and just point at it and say, this is a mutual fund, People get it. Simplicity. I'll leave you with this. Be yourself and be honest always. I always tell people this, that this is somewhat exploratory, whether I'm meeting you for the first time or I'm in the home. I'll share some strategies with you to help you reach your goals and dreams, but ultimately, you have to make your own decision whether or not you're going to do business with me. And you see how I'm looking into your eyes? I mean that with conviction, because JV, if I'm looking down and asking you to invest money, you're going to invest money with me? Chris, am I, we're all breathing the same thing here. It's conviction in your voice, and I wasn't always there. I'm talking to the person in the room who's scared to even talk about mutual funds to anyone. I was that guy. Not anymore. I get it. I think this is probably the most important, and you tell me if I'm wrong. I truly believe in this business, I always looked at everybody and said, I don't care whether or not you only have $25 a month or you have $100,000 to roll over with me. I'm gonna treat you the same way I'm gonna treat those young guys in the back of the room with $25, you know why? They're gonna be my future $100,000 roll over people. Yep. Okay? And I always knew that from the beginning. Treat people with respect. I have no problem explaining fees. If you're afraid of that, come see me. I'll, I'll show you something about dividends and fees on your statement, and you'll be shocked at the little bit of money you pay to have your money invested. I've always believed that if, I always believed, and the people in my office will contest to this, I always believed that if you have the humility to prepare before you go on that appointment, you'll have the confidence to execute. Do you get that? To look over their statements and know what you're talking about before you go into the house. Because if I go into a house and Gary's there, my T's better be crossed and my I's better be there. I can't tell you, I haven't met many people like him. So don't worry about those people. You won't be sitting with them. Most people don't know what mutual funds are, but if you explain them the way I explained it to you, and the other people in my office explain them when they go out, you'll close business in the mutual fund business. I'm in big trouble, 25 seconds. That's okay. Mary wanted me to make sure I told you guys this. The key questions, 
when was the last time you sat with or talked to the person that put you into these uh, mutual funds, Belfour? Mm. Everybody notice how I shut my mouth? Because I want him to tell me I haven't talked to him in seven years. Come on now. All important reason why we should get together. Oh, please go get that statement. See why I said that? Yep. Asking questions. Thank you, Glenn, uh, Glenn Boulder. When you have multiple retirement accounts, my wife always says this to people, when you have multiple retirement accounts from previous employers you no longer work for, mm -hmm. you're being charged fees from each one of those accounts. Mm -hmm. You have no control over those and you've lost the ability to contribute to them anymore. Does everybody get that? Yes. These are what we call orphan accounts. Mm -hmm. So we'll lead up in saying, we believe in consolidating those. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Why don't you get those statements? and be ready to consolidate them. Maybe just pay one fee with us. I'm done. <laughs> See that? Awesome job. <laughs> so I have one thing to say. One more thing. We change people's lives, and I want you all to know that I'm reading a book right now, and it's called Three Feet from Gold, mm. and that's where we all are. Three feet from gold, never give up. People need us out there, so go help them all. Thank you.